It's time again for the Science Bowl. Zoo Parade for Five. What big teeth the hippo has are actually a pair of these. Science Potpourri for Ten. Would a snake most likely eat every day? Every week, Dateline Science for Ten. Why are some elephants wearing necklaces these days? Green things for 15. And now, here's your host, Mr. Z himself, Dave Zarin. Thank you, and welcome to the Science Bowl today. Two great middle schools playing our game, one of whom could be going on to play Thomas Pullen for a shot at the third semifinalist position in this year's competition. Let's meet the teams. First, from Benjamin Folloy Middle School, our contestants today are Preston Upchurch, Nasir Phillips, and Samuel Merritt. And from Nicholas Ora Middle School, here they are, Crystal Lazaro, Blaine Solomon, and Mahendra Duda. And now here are the categories of questions we use on the Science Bowl. Okay, Mr. Z, here's today's categories. Green Things, questions about plants and all things green and growing. Zoo Parade, a Noah's Ark of questions about animals. Body Systems, we'll see how much you know about yourself about things like breathing and growing and digesting your food. Let's get physical. Questions that test your knowledge of physics and chemistry, earth science and space science. Then there's science potpourri. Here's a grab bag of science questions. Everything from air pollution to the kitchen zinc. And finally, Dateline Science. We'll ask you about science history and science in the news. Here on Science Bowl, we arrange our game board according to question difficulty with the easier questions on the left worth 5 and 10 points, the tougher ones worth 15, 20, and ultimately 25, the toughest question of them all. Both of our teams start out at 50 points, no penalties ever for incorrect answers, and at the end of the two rounds today, one of these two talented teams will be going on to play Thomas Pullen in the next phase of our competition. Let's make sure everything works properly. Let's go to the red team. Nasir, would you try your buzzer? All right, looks and sounds good. Good luck to you, to Samuel and to Preston. Blaine, would you try yours? All right, it is looking excellent to me. Blaine, Mahendra, Crystal, congratulations on being here. Good luck to you. Are we ready? Yes. Let's do this thing. Let's have a good game. May the better team win. We go alphabetically, B before N. So Benjamin Floyd and Nasir, let's play the bowl. Zoo parade for 10. Zoo parade for 10 points. Teams... Back in 1521, the Holy Roman Empire met in a German city for a big meeting. I don't expect you to know anything about that. They called that meeting a diet, and it took place in a town that has the same name of what Wrigley annelid that normally is found at the end of a fish hook. Nicholas Orem. The worm. The worm. It was called the diet of worms. Absolutely right. Good. Green. Go. Uh, science potpourri for 10. Science potpourri for 10 points. Teams, because of global warming, this Montana National Park may have to change its name because the massive ice sheets out there are disappearing. Name that national park. Glacier. Glacier National Park, named for the big ice sheets. The ice sheets are melting, so they may have to change the name. They probably won't. Try again, Green. Blaine? Um, green things for 10. Green things for 10 points is a visual question. Look at the monitor in the studio, please. Teams, that hand is cradling beans that are the source of a very popular spice that is grown on the island of Madagascar and is essential if you are making chocolate chip cookies. Name that spice. Orem. Um, chocolate or cocoa beans. No, chocolate's not a spice. Benjamin Floyd, the spice comes from those beans. It is grown, that plant is grown on the island of Madagascar. The spice is essential if you're making chocolate chip cookies. Cinnamon. Vanilla. Those are vanilla beans. Try again green. Blaine? Yes, ma'am. Uh, green things for 15. Green things for 15 points. Teams, back in 1794, Eli Whitney invented a machine called a gin to separate the fibers from the sticky green seeds of this plant that was used then and now to make a lot of our clothing. What plant are we talking about, Monsieur? Cotton. 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 What are you saying? Cotton. Cotton is absolutely right. It's the cotton gin. Eli Whitney's cotton gin. Thank you, Preston, for your assist. You were good to listen to him. Go, Nasir. Um, Dateline Science for five. Dateline for five points. 
Teams, they recently discovered three brand new amphibians in Australia, one of which is a leaf-tailed version of this corporate symbol for Geico Insurance. Nasir? Gecko. A gecko, yes. It's a leaf-tailed gecko. Good listening. Go, Red. Um, let's get physical for 15. Get physical for 15 points. Teams, ice cubes float to the top of a glass of water and lakes freeze from the top down because unlike most liquids, when water freezes, it becomes less what? Benjamin Floyd. Dense. Dense, yes, it becomes less dense. Good, go. Um, body systems for 10. Body systems for 10 points. Teams, on the television show Mythbusters, they busted the myth that these fifth Digits are blown off when an airbag deploys. Your fingers. Blaine. Oh, your fingers. Not quite specific enough. Benjamin Floyd, what fifth digit supposedly is blown off when an airbag deploys in a car? Mythbusters prove that that does not happen. Your thumb is your fifth oh. digit. You're grabbing this steering wheel, boom, thumb's blown off. Doesn't happen. Go red. 8560, Nasir. Um. Dateline stands for 15. Dateline for 15 points. Teams, the 1800s were a great time for science. Among the many things that happened in the 1800s was Dmitry Mendeleev came up with this chart for displaying all of the chemical elements. Poloi? Periodic table. You got that right, the periodic table. Yes, go. Uh, science potpourri for 20. Potpourri for 20 points. Teams, they call these guys and gals who jump from outer space who surf giant waves, junkies that are relying on what natural hormone in your body, Blaine? Adrenaline. Yeah, they're called adrenaline junkies. Absolutely. They get high on the on the thrill and the challenge. Good. Green. Go. Um, dateline size for 15. Dateline for 15. I think that one has been taken, correct? Yes. Can you choose another? Dateline signs are 20. Dateline for 20 points is a multiple choice question. <laughs> Recently at a competition where students were making robots, the noise got so loud, the decibel level reached the dangerous threshold, they had to call in a government agency to find out what was happening. Did they call in the FAA, the CDC, or OSHA because it was so loud? Nasir. CDC? Not the CDC, the CDC, the FAA, or OSHA. OSHA. OSHA, Occupational Safety and Health Administration. Absolutely right. Good. All right, the buzzer rung. Boy, that was a quick first round. Let's check the score. It is tied. 100 Nicholas Orm, 100 Benjamin Falloy. We'll be back with round two in just a moment. Don't go away. With video games, I'm always choosing between what my kids want and what I think is best for them. How about this one? Which is why I love these new rating summaries. They let me know exactly what's in the game. Players shoot lasers from an arm cannon. Robot enemies explode and limbs fly off. Maybe that other one's better. Yeah. Get your free game rating summary today. And with it, the world's most powerful weapon, knowledge. Experience Taekwondo, an ancient martial art and contemporary Olympic sport. Taekwondo seeks to bring together mind, body, and spirit while promoting sportsmanship, family values, and discipline. If you are looking to participate in a healthy lifetime activity that promotes self-control, integrity, and perseverance, then Taekwondo is the sport for you. The physical benefits of Taekwondo are many. Fitness, flexibility, better reflexes, and improved self-confidence. All of these attributes benefit young and old alike. USA Taekwondo member schools are considered to be the best at teaching the sport. Utilizing only the most professional and experienced instructors, USA Taekwondo schools are the only place to learn. So whether your dream is to win the Olympics or just learn self-defense and have fun, USA Taekwondo school will take you on an amazing journey. To find the USA Team Member Club here you and receive a free trial lesson, call 719-866. 4632 or visit our website today. I always thought being a good mother meant raising my baby myself. But when I got pregnant, I realized I wasn't ready to be a parent. So I did something I thought I could never do. I chose adoption. It was really hard, but I know my baby is with a loving family and has a very bright future. Sometimes choosing adoption is being a good mother. Visit us at ichooseadoption.org.
And welcome back to Science. Well, thanks for spending part of your day with us. We've got two outstanding middle schools here today, and the score testifies to their skill. It is tied, 100 all. We're going to give them a little bit of a break and introduce them to you. Let's go over first to Benjamin Falloy and Nasir. Tell us about Benjamin Falloy. Where in Prince George's County is it located? Uh, Suitland. Suitland, yeah. You're not too far from Andrews Air Force Base, or Joint Base Andrews, I think is what they call it now. Who's your principal? Um, Dr. Payne. Dr. Payne, and I remember when uh, you reopened your school. You're a performing arts center, are you not? Yes. Yeah, it's a beautiful school down there. And who's the sponsor of your team? Uh, Mrs. Morris. Mrs. Morris, and she has been working hard, and we appreciate all that she's done, and we'll bring her out in a few moments. Did you have an alternate on your team? Oh, Tiana. Tiana, and Tiana will come out with Miss Morris. Tell me what it is about Floyd that you really enjoy. Uh, just the environment and how we can, we're not like other schools, we don't have to just learn, learn, learn all day. We have a day where we just be ourselves and do what we're best at. Yeah, you need to have a little bit of a break. You need some recreation, give your mind a, a chance to get away from that discipline. Uh, you guys all are dressed similarly. Is it a uniform school or not? Oh, no, no yeah. uniform. It is not. Uh, tell me what you want to do someday, Ms. Here. Oh, I want to be a um, music producer. Yeah. Now, oh. you're a musical guy. Yeah. You play the trumpet, is that right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. You want to mu arrange music? Do you sing? No. Yeah. All right. Well, that's the only thing it sounds like you can't do. I can what write. Uh, What's that? I write music, too. Okay. Very good. All yeah. right. Uh, How'd they make you the captain? Oh, well, we had a tradition in eighth grade, like the eighth graders are always captain. And so, but we, they wanted to change this year so that the, we had to do a competition for it, mm -hmm. but I wasn't up for that, so. <laughs> said, so yeah. there you are, you're just asserting your rights. Okay, good to have you here. Samuel, tell us about yourself. You're interested in uh, game design, is that right? Yes. Yeah, and what do you do in your spare time? Uh, play video games. Video games, that makes sense. You're preparing for a career. Why'd you want to be on the science bowl? Um, well, I was interested in science, and then I went to the interest meeting, and I just found it interesting, so I joined. Well, good. Well, we hope you glad you you are happy with your decision. We're happy to have you here. And Preston, how do you know so much about science? Um, my teachers. Yeah, they're always and fun and always about science. That's wonderful. This is a young man who has three dogs at home, interested in zoology, perhaps maybe in veterinary medicine. Have you always loved animals? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anything other than dogs? Um, yeah, other animals too. Yeah. Cats, stuff you see in the zoo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Any unusual pets that you've ever had? Um, no. No, okay. All right, you're playing a nice game. Keep it up. Nicholas Orm, nice to have you here. You are wearing your uniform, aren't you? Yes, that, those maroon colored jerseys over there. Tell us about Nicholas Orm. Uh, it's over there in the Hyattsville area, across from the mall of Prince George's, very close to that. Who's your principal? Our principal is Miss Teresa Merrifield. Wonderful. And the sp you have two sponsors, don't you? Who are they? Miss Rankin and Miss Odell. Wonderful. And they will be out in a few moments to join the team. Any alternates on your team, Blaine? Uh, not today. Uh, not today. You are it. They, when they had you three, they decided, <coughs> that's all we need. <laughs> These guys got enough talent for everybody here. What do you want to do someday, Blaine? I want to be a neurologist. Yeah. How would you get interested in that? My brother is uh, mentally disabled, yes. and that has... Um, really set the way for me to become, like to help him. And that, that's a wonderful reason, a very personal reason to get into that. How old's your brother? My brother is, not, is 20. 20 years old, wow. I hope he's watching. I know how proud he must be of you, Blaine. Before I leave you, tell me uh, about Nicholas, or I might ask Benjamin Floyd and Nasir what he really liked about the school. What do you brag about when you tell students about, and people about Orm? Um, the extracurricular activities. There's um, a yearbook committee. Um, there's even a morning show. Wow. It's really great. And we also go on field trips, and the AVID teacher, she's really putting a lot of effort into the school. Wow. Your eyes lit up when you <laughs> talked about that, so I know it's a really important to you there. It sounds like a great place to go to school. Crystal, you are, a, I called her a one-woman band because she plays four different instruments. What are they, Crystal? I play the guitar, the bass, the drums, and the viola. Wow. Is there a lot of musical talent in your family, or are you the first? It's me and my brother. You and your brother. What did your brother play? plays the same thing. Wow, all right. And academically, uh, what do you like in school if you're not playing music? I do math. Math, all right. And what do you want to do professionally? I want to go into law and, as my major and then architecture or mechanical engineering. That's right. You were telling me about that. I know what a good math student you are. And Mahendra, also, you have an interest in mathematics, don't you? Yes. Engineering. And if you're what kind of engineer? Um, I haven't decided whether I would do mechanical or electrical. Electrical, wow. 
Well, you've got a lot of education ahead of you, just as Blaine does and Crystal, you know, and you guys are up for it. You're very talented. Mandra, what do you like to do in your spare time? I know you play um, the violin. Yeah, I play the violin. I'm pretty good at it. Um, I like to play football with my friends because it's the way we can have fun, yeah. do something we enjoy. Get some exercise, and I like that you like that you're good at the violin. Confidence is everything in so many things. All right. You guys all have confidence. You ready for round two? Let's do this thing. You're playing a great game, 100 to 100, lots of points to give away. Let's start us out. Last correct answer came from Blaine. Would you start us, Blaine? Body systems for 15, please. Body systems for 15 points is a multiple choice question. Teams, the rapid aging disease called progeria, young children who have it have very misshapen shoulders because their collarbones don't develop properly. Are collarbones known as the scapula, the humerus, or the clavicle? Which of those three is the collarbone nasir? Clavicle. Clavicle is right. Yes, sir. Good. Go red. Um, Zoo Parade 15. Zoo Parade 4? 15. 15 points. Teams, because most bony fish are denser than the water they swim in, they would sink if they didn't have an airfield what inside their bodies, Benjamin Floyd? Bladder. A bladder, yeah. They've got a swim bladder that keeps them from sinking. I mean, that would just would not work, a sink, uh, fish that sinks. Go, red. Let's get physical for 10. Let's get physical, 10 points, teams. Naiad, a moon, was, was discovered back in 1989, and then it was lost until recently. Naiad is one of the 14 known moons of what outermost planet? Nicholas Orem. Neptune. Yes, ma'am, Neptune, since Pluto was kicked out of the club. Go green. Um, let's get physical for 20. Get physical for 20 points. Teams, back in World War II, the supply of copper was low. It was being used for the war effort, so all pennies back then were made out of this metal that is forged from iron. Benjamin Floyd. Nickel? Not nickel, no. What metal that is forged from iron was what pennies were made of during World War II when copper was in a low supply? What do you think, guys? Um. We don't know. Steel. The pennies were made of steel, forged from iron. Go green, 110, 130, advantage green. Blaine? Um, let's get physical for 25. Get physical for 25. The big one in that category. Teams, chemical reactions like photosynthesis and water evaporating and ice cubes melting are all endothermic reactions, meaning they do what? Or what happens during them? Endothermic nasir for 25. Absorb energy. Again? Absorb energy. Judges? Yes, indeed. Absorb energy, absorb heat. Good. Go. Red. Um, body systems for five. Body systems for five points. Teams, to get someone's attention in a crowded room, sometimes you have to yell at the top of your what? Benjamin Floyd? Lungs. Your lungs, yeah. Good. Red. Um, green things for 20. Green things for 20 points. Teams, this is a multiple choice question. The tiny pores in the epidermis of a plant leaf that admit gases and water are known as the styles, the stamens, or the stomates. Nicholas Orem. Stamens. 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 Not the stamens. The stamens, the styles, or the stomates are the tiny openings, openings in a leaf's epidermis to permit gases and water to move in and out. Styles. The one neither of you chose, the stomates. Go again red. Um, Science Potpourri for 15. Potpourri for 15 points. Teams, the town of Rotorua, New Zealand, is sometimes called S-City because it stinks so much of rotten eggs. Nicholas Orr? Skunk. Skunk. Not skunk. That's a reasonable guess. It smells like rotten eggs, which is the odor associated with what S-initialed chemical on the periodic table? Sulfur? Yeah, sulfur. There's sulfur dioxide everywhere, and that's what's giving that rotten egg smell. That's why Rotorua is known as Sulfur City. Red. Body systems for 20. Body systems for 20 points. Teams, the red blood cells in your body last about 120 days. They're worn out after 120 days because they've been pushed and shoved and squeezed through what very tiny blood vessels? Floyd? Veins. Not veins. What are the very tiny blood vessels that the red blood cells have to squeeze their way through, Blaine? Arteries. No, capillaries. Capillaries are the tiniest ones. Try again, red. Um, Dateline for 10. Dateline for 10 points, teams. The last passenger pigeon died in 1914. 
But now, scientists, by using surrogates, are trying to bring the passenger pigeon back from what? Nicholas Orm? Extinction? Yes, they are going to de-extinct it if they're successful. Good. Green, blame. Uh, Zoo parade for 20. Zoo parade for 20. Zoo for? 20. 20 points. Teams, recently in Ecuador, they found a lizard that they thought was extinct. Its scientific name is Anolis proboscis. It's named that because the lizard has a very big what? Benjamin Falloy. Throat? Not throat. Anolis proboscis. That lizard has a very big what, according to that name? Head. Nose. Proboscis. Nose. It's called the Pinocchio lizard. Go green. Um, Dateline for 25. Dateline science for 25. Dateline for 25 points. Teams, we know that drivers in Maryland will be pulled over if they're talking their cell phone or texting. In California, you can get pulled over if the officer notices your eyes going back and forth as you surf the internet if you have these on your face. Nicholas Orem. Google Glass. Yeah, Google Glass got yourself 25. You needed those. Good go. Um, body systems for 25. Body systems for 25 points, teams. If you've ever had strep throat, it's not something to treat lightly because the streptococcus bacteria get in and can damage these V initial trap. Vocal cords? Not vocal cords. Benjamin Floyd, what V initial trap doors between the chambers of your heart can be infected by that strep bacterium? Huh? Yes, sir? Ventricles? Ooh, good try. Valves. It's the valves between the ventricle and the auricle. Try again, green. 145, 175. You're down 30 points. Uh, green things for 25. Green things for 25 points. Get this, we'll have almost a tie. If you've ever wondered how you get a water or a seedless watermelon, you plant seedless watermelon seeds. They are triploid, meaning they have too many of these, which means the plant itself will come out to be sterile. They have too many watts that complicate the reproductive process in those seeds of seedless watermelons. They have too many watts. Nasir. Um, chloroplast? No. Not chloroplast. Good try. There are too many. They are triploid, meaning they have too many of these in the seedless watermelon seeds, which means that the plant itself will be sterile. Um, bacteria. Chromosomes. Chromosomes. They have the wrong number of chromosomes. All right. Let's try again. Green. Go, Blaine. Zoom parade for 25, please. Zoom parade for 25. Look at the monitor in the studio, please. This beautiful green thing is the larval stage in the life of a swallowtail butterfly. It looks like a snake, which keeps birds from getting close and eating it. It's not camouflage. It is what M initial behavior that adapts that creature to its environment. What M initial behavior is it employing by looking like a snake? Mimicking. Mimicking, absolutely right, or mimicry. Thank you, Samuel, for your assist there. Go, Nasir. Um, science potpourri for five. Potpourri for five points. Teams, because it contains special chemicals that keep bacteria and fungus from growing and is highly acidic, what food made by bees never has to be refrigerated? Honey. Honey, yes, good, go. Science potpourri for 25. Science potpourri for 25. Teams, this is a sad story. Most moose are disappearing now because they're being infected with ticks. To try to get the ticks off their bodies, they rub against trees. That rubs off all their fur. So when it gets cold, they die of what? Nasir. Hypothermia. Hypothermia, absolutely right. I heard Preston all the way over here. Nicely done, good, go, red. Um, let's get physical for five. Physical for five teams. This mixture of gases dominated by nitrogen is what Katy Perry sings about when she says, I'm walking on what? Benjamin Floyd? Fire. No. I'm walking on what? What mixture of gases dominated by nitrogen is what Katy Perry sings about when she sings, I'm walking on what? Air. Air. Yes. Good. Go green. Um, Zoop parade for five. Zoop parade for five points. Teams, a new movie called Free Birds is all about trying to get this bird off the... Turkey. Turkey off the Thanksgiving menu is right. 
Green thinks for five points. Last question of the game. Recent data show that lightning most often strikes these tall trees that make acorns. Floyd. Redwood. Not redwood. What tall trees that make acorns are the trees most often struck by lightning? Oak trees. Oak trees make acorns. All right, we are at the end of our game. We'll be back with a wrap-up in just a moment. Don't go away. I knew I needed help paying for college. I've always wanted to be a teacher. I used to make worksheets for my friends to do. No one ever wanted to come over. My guidance counselor told me about federal student aid, and my mom helped me fill out the free application. I got the grants and loans that made school possible. There is a way to pay for school. You just have to find it. My name is Caitlin. I'm going to be a special education teacher. I'm going to live my dream. For years, scientists have explored remote corners of the Earth, searching for exotic substances that might help prevent cancer. At last, man has discovered a secret place where powerful remedies can actually be found. Medical research shows that a vegetarian diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains can help prevent many types of cancer. Wherever you live, cancer prevention is as close as your grocery store. To learn more, call 866-906-WELL. And welcome back to Science. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's game. We are very proud of all of our players. It was a great game. It went back and forth, testifying to the skill of these great young people. Our final tally is Nicholas Orm, 155. Benjamin Floyd, 230. Congratulations to Preston and Nasir and Samuel. You've played a great game. And look at the alternates back there. We've got Tiana and Nyla and the very proud Miss Christine Morris. We're going to see you against Thomas Pullen. Nicholas Orm, let's see some smiles over here. You played a great game. Crystal and Blaine and Mahendra, you always came back. You never gave up. Miss Odell and Miss Rankin, thank you for sending such great students our way. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next time on another edition of Science Bowl. Bye-bye now.